They've got a quarterback that has continued to grow and develop and get better as the season's gone on and really playing at a high level right now. How close or how similar are they to what you face in practice every day? Uh, there's a lot of similarities. Uh, again, you talk about receivers on the outside. I think we've got very good receivers here that we go against every single day. Uh, we have uh, a quarterback that was young and JT that continued to get better as the season went on and became a really uh, good threat throwing the football. We got an offensive line uh, that, that blocks extremely hard and, and we can run the football as good as anybody. So there are a lot of similarities. Our offense prepares us for anybody we're going to face. Chris, you guys were playing probably your best defense the last month of the season. I think you could definitely say that was true for Michael Bennett as well. Is that a coincidence that, or is he raising the level with what he's doing up there? Well, anytime that you're playing your best up front, uh, especially right in the, the heart of your defense in the middle, it's going to help the rest of the defense. And when Michael Bennett, about six week, weeks ago, Michael Bennett uh, flipped the switch and something changed. He's become a much better leader. He's become a much better practice player. He's become a much better game day player. And everybody else is fed off of that. You know, he's a senior up there. He's one of our more talented players, one of our best playmakers. And when people see him doing the things the right way the investment he's made into the game of football to help himself continue to get better has been impressive and everybody else is following his lead that switch is it all was it all for him mental did you guys change anything schematically to put him in different positions no there's a couple things that we did differently that probably would suit his skill set better so we made a slight uh, adjustment but a lot of it just comes down to him uh, I think he realized the end is, is coming he uh, has aspirations of playing at the next level which he'll have a chance to do but he also understands that he's got to be a better practice player he's got to study the game more You've got to be a better leader, and those are the things that he's starting to do. Chris, Chris, how confident are you in your defense's ability to at least contain Cooper? Uh, we're going into the game to uh, win the game, and we're going to play what, uh, good enough football to win that football game. Can you win the football game and let him have a Cooper-esque kind of day? Uh, no, we can't. You know, uh, he's a great player. Um, they've got it, uh, a quarterback that can get him the ball, and if he has a big day, it's going to be a long night for us. Coach, with Apple, Bosa, Lee, and Bell, these are all guys from the class of 2013. Are you surprised that that class has made such an impact so quickly? Uh, uh, they're all talented players. And uh, once those guys really learned our system and what we're asking them to do, and uh, the game slowed down for them, uh, they all started to, to really show a huge uh, improvement. And that'll continue. I mean, they're not where they need to be yet, but they've made drastic improvement uh, throughout the course of the season, and they'll continue to do so. The sky's the limit for those guys.